Okay, hey guys, um, I was watching this video last night, um, uh, and I came across uh, one particular question about uh, antinatalism that um, Destiny attempted to answer. I think he did a really poor job. Um, yeah, it, it just seems like it's a stupid excuse. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to play the video and kind of respond to it. Um, I don't think it's going to be that long. Mm. Nope. Uh, Stodge Blodge asks, do you think it's immoral to have kids? Like, what are your thoughts on anti-natalism? Uh, um, I, I don't... Uh, the way that this was described to me was that you can't consider the feelings of non-existent people, because if you do... It just it breaks too much in philosophy, so <laughs> I just don't think of about it. Yeah, I just don't think about it. Okay, uh, you don't think about uh, the potential, the future potential of well-being of your children. It just doesn't matter. Um, just don't think about it at all. Not your problem. It seems a little fucking retarded. Um, I mean, if you, if you and your partner had like a ninety percent chance of 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 creating a, a child that has a, a horrific birth defect. Would you think about it then? Yeah. So, right off the bat, you failed. <laughs> I just don't think about it. Yeah, it's because you don't think you have some something to worry about. Or your kid's going to have something to worry about or deal with. But you don't know that. Like, fucking Christ. You don't. I just, oh, I just don't think about it, because you can't worry about the existence of non-existent people. It's like, yeah, but if you're, go if you're planning on creating someone, they're going to exist in the future. So what you're really saying is, I don't think about the future at all. I don't care about it. I don't think about it. It doesn't matter. If, if, you, if you consider, like, the, the wills and desires, or if you treat non-existent peoples as people that are already living, like, you have to take into account, like, their, um, like, thoughts and feelings and shit, it seems like you're pretty fucked. You don't necessarily have to take into account their thoughts and feelings, just their quality of life that they're gonna live, and it's one that you can't guarantee, and you're just gonna sit there and roll dice for other people and just say, ha 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 ha, I had fun. Fuck off no matter what you do so if you, if you buy into that that seems to be what you have to argue like antinatalism should just logically follow from considering um unborn persons like feelings and shit uh well oh but yeah again like you wouldn't consider it in a situation where you don't believe you have any reason to to worry about cre creating a life that's going to have a horrible fucking birth defect but for some reason if you had an increased chance of having that happen you most likely would think about it. So no, you you do think about it, you just don't care in most circumstances. That's that's all that is. You just don't care. Um, if you're already considering it, then you already lose, so it seems like that's where the debate is. Alright. I think I found a leftist question and um I'm pretty Yeah, so that was <laughs> That was the, that was his answer to antinatalism. Ah, I just don't think about it because it, it, it just breaks too much in philosophy. Well, it really doesn't. <laughs> it really fucking doesn't. You, you're not treating them like they're he, like they're here now. <laughs> uh, in antinatalism, you're literally trying to prevent them from being here now or later or whatever. Later, yeah. <sighs> I don't know, Destiny is just... He's, uh, he's got some good fucking points, but he's also just kind of an idiot sometimes. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, this oh, I just don't think about it. It's, it. Yeah, but if you and your partner had a, a really high... Uh, chance of creating someone with a birth defect, you would think about it. Unless you were fucking, like, mentally handicapped or something, and it's just not something that would have entered into your fucking mind. And, but if you knew you had some fucking uh, issue, and your fucking partner had some fucking issue, 
why would you take that risk with someone else? And then you're, then you're turning around and saying, oh, just because I don't have the, this increased risk of creating someone with a birth defect, like, I just don't think about it. It's weak. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, it's just couldn't let that one slide. Um, anyway, uh, have a day. Uh, don't drink pop on an empty stomach for 10 years like I did. Um, you'll end up with a stomach ulcer too. Uh, anyway, have a day. Yeah.